Hey everyone, how you doing? My name is Echo. Hope you're having a great day. Welcome back today to another episode of my top five series. In today's video, I have the top five most useful apps for iOS users. You'll be happy to know all the apps I'm sharing with you in today's video are completely free to download. They do have some ads in them, but they are free to download, meaning you don't have to pay anything at all. Now last week I brought you an Android video, this week we're on iOS, none of these are jailbroken. I am using my Apple iPad Air 2 in today's video, but this works for pretty much all iOS devices. Now if you guys do enjoy this, be sure to thumbs it up. If you know any more useful apps, either for iOS or Android, leave a comment down below. So the first app I'm sharing with you in today's video is going to be Mind Map. 500 plus maps. So clicking on this, I'm gonna teach you everything you need to know. Now this is one of my more enjoyable ones. This app specifically uses the new way to install maps as an app. Now there's things such as firework displays, which you guys can check out. You've got advanced TNT cannons, bikini bottom, and so much more. I'm gonna start off with the top one. Um, now I believe there is a, a, um, a premium version of this app as well, but there's literally tons and tons of maps that you guys can explore. Now I know on iOS, a lot of the apps are paid versions, but this is pretty cool. So starting off with this top one, it, it, it'll explain to you how it works. And if you click on install, all it wants you to do is to rate the actual app, and it is a spelling mistake there, on LC OK instead of unlock. And I'm pretty sure this is because you're not really meant to do this. So if I click on I want maps, it's gonna take you to the app store. Just simply go back, click on install, and then do copy to Minecraft PE. And it should instantly, on its own, open Minecraft Pocket Edition. It's gonna instantly import the map. Now guys, some of these maps, because they're really big, can take some time to install, so be very patient. But with this one, I really like this because it's instantly installed. You don't have to download a file, you just download and play. Let me show you guys exactly what it looks like. So we have one, two, and then down there's three and four. So for an example, let's flick the switch. We kind of have like a fireworks show going on here. Um, and this is all done with like potion effects, which looks pretty cool. In fact, it looks really, really cool. Um, it's got like the arrow of insta health. I like that one, it's pretty cool. And this one, this one I believe is done with XP bottles. Um, as you guys can see there. And it's all just because we don't have fireworks in Minecraft Pocket Edition. I'm just briefly showing you these, just, just to show you guys that the maps do work. This is three and that is four. So for number three, I think this one might be snowballs. Yes, it's kind of like snowballs. It's really cool. Are they eggs or snowballs? I think, oh, they're, they're eggs. They're actually really, really lots of eggs. And then last but not least, we have, uh, okay, we've got fire charges. Let's, let's not get ourselves killed, but yeah, the app itself, it's incredibly useful. I think you guys should definitely check it out. And again, it's just called um, Mind Map. Just search for Mind Map and look for the specific icon, download a bunch of maps and just have some fun. So the, the second app in today's video is called MCPE Add-ons. Um, look specifically at the pictures, guys. That's how you can re like re remember the apps that you're gonna check out. So clicking on this one, um, I'm just gonna do, don't want any notifications from this one. This one I like a lot, guys, because this also used the new way to install things. Now, if you guys are really looking for Faithful, you've searched everywhere, this app has the updated version of Faithful. Now, you've got Faithful, you've got Awesome Farm, you've got different categories that you can check out. This one shows you the latest, top rated, the downloads, but I'm gonna show you guys Faithful for an example. And you can see here, you can download Resource Pack or download MC World. Now I'm gonna click on download MC World and I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure this will take, oh, it's gonna take a little bit of time to download. Okay, so it takes a little bit of time to download. We're gonna, we're gonna scrap that for now then. Um, but yeah, <laughs> only because it'll take a long time to download it. Let's just have a quick look at some other things. This one comes with add-ons, texture packs, uh, resource packs, you name it. So for example, I've already done a review like this before. You can download the resource pack and download the behaviors pack. I'm gonna show you guys maybe one that's not so big of a download. Let's just try, um, let's have a quick little sneak peek. There's loads, there's loads to explore with this one, which I like. And it also brings you the newest ones um, with an icon on the top right. So let's just say we wanted to download Starks one. We can download the MC World. Again, some of them do have adverts. Considering they're free, I really do not mind at all. Wait for the advert to be complete, um, and then it's gonna download instantly to Minecraft Pocket Edition. Copy to Minecraft Pocket Edition, and this is Stark's Mansion. Um, any Iron Man fans out there, you guys should know this. 
Let's just wait for this to install. Again, guys, some of them do take some time to download depending on what device you're using and how, how fast the device is. Okay, so yeah, it's it's that easy to install, that easy to use this app. Um, I was mainly gonna show you this one specifically for the, the resource packs, but again, guys, it comes with it comes with mods. So if you are looking for any mods, this is the app that I recommend using. Um, and that one's called MCP add-ons. I just wanna double check something real quick because you can search here for MC World MC Pack. Let's just have a quick look for MC Packs. Anything useful in here? Over a root stick, you've got the chest and my phone's pinging. I apologize, guys. I'm a terrible YouTuber. Uh, the Redstone Mechanic, which is a, a mcpdl.com um, add-on that's been updated. But I'll let you guys go and explore that one. I did find this app useful, mainly for texture packs. The next app we have here is called Seeds for Minecraft. I like this one a lot, and it's actually an app I use quite often to bring you guys seed showcases. But clicking on this, it's a very bright one, which isn't really easy on your eyes. Um, I'm not gonna rate this right now. No thank you. Um, let's click on done. Now I recommend list, like reading this guys. It just says how to use this app. It says enable the keyboard, which you have to do. Add a seed to keyboard memory. Enable this keyboard in Minecraft and add select data pressing the name. Now, when I use this guys, all I do is I specifically just remember the seed and write it down or put it in my notes. It's a lot easier to do than setting all this other stuff up because you can copy and paste it. But guys, there is tons and tons and tons of seeds within this one. Now guys, you'll see at the top it says last update of seeds at 3 p.m. Now it's just past 3.08 in the UK here, and you can see at the top it's 3.08. This is actually updated every one hour. Every one hour, new seeds are posted. Now some of these seeds come with pitches, others do not. It will also tell you what version this specific seed was found in. Now this one does come with um, a picture. Now if you click on, uh, if you click on copy to, um, basically save it. It'll come up with the seed. Now just remember the seed, if you really need to, take a screenshot instead of having to set up the keyboard. You can set up the keyboard if you want to, but there is tons of them. Uh, a really good one that you guys might like is a mineshaft and a village. And again, some of them do have adverts. Copied the keyboard, as you guys can see there. But yeah, that's the that's the third app I wanted to share with you. The fourth one in today's video is called add-ons, free add-ons. Now clicking on this one, this one, it's mainly for maps, more than anything else, but they do have mods. So if you guys are looking for any mods, a lot of these mods you probably would have seen me showcase before anyway. Um, for example, you've got like the Ender Creeper ones, you've got Fireball, Gun add-on, Loot-tastic add-on, um, Amazing Mobs add-on, Pikachu's add-on. There is tons and tons of different add-ons. And add-ons are only gonna get bigger and better. More add-ons are gonna be introduced all the time. Let's just try a very basic one. Let's just try a villager companion one. And then you click on download. Again, some of these may take a little bit of time depending on the file size. And then you click on play and you open in Minecraft and it's gonna instantly open Minecraft. Now my device is not jailbroken. It's just the way maps are used to install these days. Uh, and this is the villager companion one. Started importing behavior pack villager companion. If done correctly, it would tell me if I go to play, if I go to create, and if I check my behaviors pack, it's right there. That's how easy it is with this specific app. But again, I wanna show you a couple more things with this one, because again, it doesn't only come with mods, it comes with maps as well. Um, for example, maybe you wanted to start your own custom uh, Skyblock one, click on Air World. I love you like a of course, you have to wait for these to download, because, sorry, wait for this to, to bypass. Click on Exit, click on Download. This is really good if you're looking to create like maps for yourself for people to download. This one being like a skyblock one. You click on play, click on copy to Minecraft, and this should start to instantly open it up. And I should stand, I should be standing on one bedrock, I believe. If this is done correctly. Did we do it correctly? I, I, I think I'm just flying here. I have no idea what I'm doing. This just looks like an empty map. And it is literally just an empty map. Um, but there's tons of them. Wait, 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 wait a second. I'm now in the sky, I feel. There's definitely got to be bedrock somewhere that I'm looking for. Okay, I've kind of broke that one. Uh, let's go back into this one. What else do we have in here? Grass, iron. You've got custom custom flat worlds if you're looking for custom flat worlds, guys. Because Minecraft Pocket Edition only has one flat world, which is a very, very basic one. Hardcore squid mode. Giga mobs. There's loads. Go and check them out if you guys are looking for that. And then the last one I sh want to share with you in today's video is called Skin Creator. Just because a lot of the skin creators are paid apps, this one is also free as well. It actually comes with music as well. Um, skin packs. You can actually 
Oh, I didn't realize that skin packs. Crazy costumes. Are these paid though? So yeah, it turns out that the skin packs are paid ones. Don't pay for them, guys. You can just create your own. So you can go to um, community skins, which are community created ones. Whether these are, whether you're just looking for a new skin yourself, there's literally a ton of community ones which you guys can check out. And there's a blue haired diamond man, which is the diamond minecart, rainbow armor, tons. It's got the most popular at this moment. I wonder what the most popular skin is at this current point. And the app crashed. Let's try this again. It's not very hard. That's the first time it happens. It's always on recording. Um, but forget about that. Maybe you wanted to go to new skin. You go to Steve. It's simple to do. Click on this and then you click on specific sections that you want to work on. So for example, we could change my hair to be black. Um, maybe we wanted to change it to the rest of it to be like this. Let's go like this. I'm just showing you guys a very, very basic example of this one. I just like this one because it was really simple to use. Uh, let's change it to red, done, this, on there, on there, nose, and kind of like a weird derpy face. So yeah, as you guys can see, I've, I'm kind of like a weird snowman there. But yeah, there's lots of lots of things to remember with this app. Um, no, I don't want any of this. And just, just go and check it out. And it does have a premium, if you guys want to check out the premium version. So that's the five apps I wanted to share with you in today's video. You may notice I do have one extra app here. The reason why I'm sharing this extra app is because I kind of found that as a different alternative to mess around with if you guys get bored. Let me know in the comment section what your highest score is. And this is called Diamond Catch. All right, you have a bucket, there's TNT falling, and there's also... Um... Um, TNT and diamonds falling and you literally have to catch as many of these as you can without touching any of the TNT Now if too many diamonds fall in the water at uh, the lava then it's kind of game over now My highest score is 55. So let's see if we can beat this in today's video. Here we go. There we go any more here we go 21 it gets faster and faster by the way So this is where you got to be quick don't let any of them fall in the lava, otherwise it's kind of game over. I'm going to get to 15 and I'm going to end it. Oh. Ah, oh, 52. I'll take that. But guys, send me your scores on Twitter. It's just at Quebec Soldier. Hopefully you have enjoyed today's video. Something different for iOS. 500 plus maps, which is called My Map. MCP add-ons, which is very, very good. Seeds, very good as well. Free add-ons for mods and maps. Skin creator, and something a little different. Diamond Catch. Have a great day. Have a great weekend. And as always, I'll catch you next time. Bye.